in Spain, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to build this DIY coffee table. This was an easy and inexpensive project. I made this for the playroom that I'm currently making over and turning into sort of a tween hangout space. So look for that makeover on my channel very soon. But this coffee table was really easy. There are a lot of different ways you can customize it and make it your own. If you have any questions for me, please leave those in the comment section. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified of my future videos. All right, let's get started. First, I cut my one by two boards into 10 pieces at three feet long each and nine pieces at 16 inches long each. I used my miter saw for this, but any saw will do. I will link to everything I used for this project in the description box below, and I will also link to the written tutorial on my website. You could also alter the dimensions of this table, and in that case, you can determine how many slats you want it to have, and then modify the number of boards you cut and to what length. After I cut my wood, I gave it a good sanding with my orbital sander. I arranged all of the boards in order, alternating long and short, turning them on their side. Then I measured and marked the center point of each board. You can always erase or sand these marks off later. Next, I loaded my brad nailer with one and a quarter inch brad nails. I used wood glue and my brad nailer to attach the boards, and I always like to use a paper plate for my glue just to make it more easily accessible. First, I cleared away all of the other boards so I would have an empty work surface, and then I started attaching them one by one. I lined up the center points and attached them starting with a long board and then alternating between short and long, and I attached them using the wood glue and my brad nailer, like I said with the one and a quarter inch brad nails. You could just glue and clamp them if you prefer, but this just seemed quicker and easier. I like to apply the glue with a silicone glue brush, and I will link to this one in the description box below, and then I just wipe the excess glue away with a paper towel as I went along. And I just repeated this process over and over again until each of the slats had been glued and nailed together. After all of my boards were attached, I allowed the glue to cure overnight. Then I gave it another good sanding just to make sure all of the glue residue was removed and everything was smooth. After the glue had cured and I sanded everything, I then stained my tabletop using Varathane stain in the color Provencial. I used a foam brush to get into the nooks and crannies and then I went over everything with a staining pad just to absorb some of the stain and give it a uniform finish. While my stain dried, I spray painted the hairpin legs. Now I had these left over from another project, so they had previously been spray painted gold, but the paint was chipping and there was some sticky residue on them. So the first thing I did was clean them with acetone and then I primed them with the rusty metal spray paint primer that you see here. And then I spray painted it with my favorite metallic gold spray paint, which I will link to below. I allowed the stain on the tabletop to dry and then applied a satin wipe on poly using a staining pad. After everything dried, I flipped the tabletop over to attach the legs and I realized I really needed to spray paint the top base plate of each leg too since you could see it from the top. So you could attach a piece of wood underneath to attach the leg too, but I didn't want to do that. So I went ahead and spray painted the top base plate of the leg gold too. I attached the legs by pre-drilling pilot holes and then using half inch long screws. I measured and placed them three inches from the outer edge and lined them up so the edge of the base plate rested on the second slat. You could position them however you choose though.
That's it, super easy, and of course you could use whatever legs you want. You could use hairpin legs like I did or make your own custom wooden legs. You could use wide dowels or even order custom legs online. There are a lot of sites that sell them in a variety of styles. This coffee table is in our playroom, which I am currently making over and turning into a tween hangout space. So stay tuned for that makeover here on my channel very soon. And now for the outtakes. Oh, there goes the car. Ow, fuck. Okay, literally had to just go scare a bird away because it was so loud, okay. And it's back, okay, cool. I am gonna show you how to... <laughs> what, Jonah, I'm recording. This was a really easy What do you need? What do you need me to come for? You don't know. What's the issue? Are you in a mood? Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can find me online at erinspain.com and on social media at erinspainblog. Be sure to connect with me on Instagram to see what I'm working on next. And in the meantime, please enjoy some of my other videos.